This HMI here from Panasonic is used as a dedicated console for the HLG1 series. Notice it doesn't need a PLC. You're able to connect the sensor directly to the RS485 port on this HMI and then Panasonic created software that you can download and put it on this HMI to give you all of the screen data and all of the setup data uh, for the HLG1 uh, serial output version. So that, that's what I've done here. I've taken this HMI, I've mounted it onto this little panel that I just drew up in Fusion 360 and then printed it out on my printer. And this right here is the measurement data, reads out in millimeters. This is showing the uh, center standoff of the laser measurement sensor. So, go in here to the various screens. First one is the measurement display that I was just showing. Second one gives you a little bit more detail. It still, sh it still shows the measurement screen. It also shows the three outputs that are available out of the, P out of the sensor. So three HLG1 digital out outputs, the laser, tell you whether the laser's on or off, and an alarm output along with the zero setting functions. From there, you can go to the sensor setting. And if you've ever looked at the HLG1 series, you know there's quite a few different options for setting the sensor up. We'll just go look at a few of them right now. So the first one would be the sample rate. So you can set the uh, sampling cycle and you can adjust that from 200 microseconds up to 2 milliseconds. We'll just leave it at 200 microseconds uh, for this demonstration. Then we just go back to the menu. You can also select uh, shutter time. Uh, in this case, we're using auto shutter adjustment, so it automatically adjusts uh, the, the shutter speed uh, based on the surface material that you're trying to reflect or reflect off of. So the surface material that you're trying to detect. Go back to menu. This is the data processing, so you can set up the number of averaging and other functions. Output. So in this specific example, uh, I have the three feeler gauges, um, a 2.5, a 3.0, and a 3.5 that I printed off on a printer. And first thing we're going to do is if I want an output, if I want all three outputs to be activated, I put it into what's called three state. There are several other options to choose from, but we're going to do three state. We'll go into the other options in future videos. The other things that you can do with this is display the number of digits or show the number of digits to display on the sensor uh, or on the panel, etc., etc. Uh, you can set up your analog output so you can use an analog output in conjunction with this dedicated console. Nice to be able to set everything up on here very easily and then send your analog output back to an analog card for processing. Uh, let's see here. This is the system. So like this is laser control. I can turn the laser on. I can turn the laser off. Okay. So that's the sensor setting. Then this is the environment setting. Here I can look at the sensor part number that I'm using, the and then the version uh, that I'm us using, and then here's a console setting. This would allow me to select it to beep every time I touch it, change the language, and then one thing I've got it set on here is anytime output 2 is activated, the screen turns on. 
and it turns on bright red as you uh, saw a few minutes ago. Okay, so in this specific example, let's say we want to set the output so that of the three different sizes that we have output one come on when it's a 2.5 millimeter feeler gauge, output two to come on when it's 3.0, and output three to come on when it is a 3.5. And in this case, I want output two to say oh, that's that's a bad part alarm, that set an alarm or turn on the bright red, red uh, light. So what you do is you press up here. This is threshold A. And of course I've already got it set, but it'd be 2.7, just key it in, hit the enter key, go down to threshold B, 3.3. So anytime it's between 2.7 and 3.3, we'll get output two to turn on. So we'll go out of there and we'll go into measurement operate screen. You can see output one is on right now. So I've got the 2.5 in there. It's reading roughly 2.5. Uh, keep in mind I printed these off with a 3D printer uh, with a 0.1 millimeter accuracy. Okay, and then there's the three. You see the red light comes on, and then 3.5. So three, 2.5, back to three, 3.5. So there you go. So what do you think, Rosie? He is the most uh <laughs>